The Fascinating Story of Computers, A Journey Through Time The history of computers is a fascinating and complex story that spans thousands of years. From the abacus to the latest supercomputers and artificial intelligence technologies, computers have transformed the way we live, work, and communicate. The history of computers begins with the earliest attempts at computation, dating back thousands of years to the abacus, a simple counting device invented in ancient China. Over time, various mechanical devices were developed to perform mathematical calculations, such as the astrolabe in ancient Greece and the slide rule in the 17th century. The abacus consists of a wooden frame with rows of beads or pebbles that can be moved along grooves or wires. The device is used for performing basic arithmetic operations such as addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. The exact origin of the abacus is unknown, but it is believed to have been developed independently in different parts of the world. The Chinese abacus, known as the Swampin, is one of the oldest and most well-known types. It consists of the rectangular frame with two beads on the top row and five beads on the bottom row. The beads are moved using rods that are inserted through the frame, and the value of each bead depends on its position. The abacus was widely used in ancient times for commerce, accounting, and other practical purposes. It was also used in schools as a teaching tool for mathematics. In some cultures, the abacus was considered a sacred object and was used for divination and fortune telling. Despite its simplicity, the abacus is a powerful computing device that can perform complex calculations quickly and accurately. It is still used in some parts of the world today, particularly in Asia, where it is used in schools and businesses. The abacus has also influenced the design of modern computing devices, such as the slide rule and the calculator, which use similar principles of computation. However, it wasn't until the 19th century that the first true computers were developed. In 1822, English mathematician Charles Babbage designed a mechanical device called the Difference Engine, which was intended to automate the production of mathematical tables. Babbage later went on to design a more advanced device, the Analytical Engine, which could perform any calculation that could be expressed in a series of instructions. The Difference Engine was intended to automate the production of mathematical tables, which were used in a wide variety of scientific and engineering calculations. Babbage's machine was designed to automate the process, using a series of gears and levers to perform the necessary calculations automatically. The Difference Engine was a complex and ambitious device, consisting of thousands of individual parts. It was designed to perform calculations using a method known as the method of differences, which involves finding the difference between successive values in a sequence. The machine was capable of performing calculations with up to 20 digits of accuracy, far beyond the capabilities of human calculators. Despite Babbage's vision and enthusiasm, the development of the Difference Engine was plagued by technical and financial difficulties. The project was eventually abandoned after several years of work and the machine was never completed in Babbage's lifetime. However, Babbage's work on the Difference Engine laid the foundation for modern computing. He is often referred to as the father of the computer. In the late 1800s, American inventor Herman Hollerith developed the first machine for tabulating data using punch cards, which revolutionized the process of census taking and led to the creation of the modern computer industry. The machine was designed to automate the process of counting and analyzing data from the U.S. Census, which was conducted every 10 years. At the time, the process of tabulating census data was a massive undertaking that took years to complete. Hollerith's machine used punched cards to represent data, with each hole in the card representing a specific piece of information. The cards could be sorted and counted automatically using a series of gears and levers, greatly reducing the time and effort required to tabulate the data. The Hollerith tabulating machine was a huge success, and it was widely used in government and business to process large amounts of data. In 1896, Hollerith founded the Tabulating Machine Company, which later became IBM. Hollerith's invention was an important milestone in the history of computing. It demonstrated the potential for machines to automate complex tasks and process large amounts of data, laying the groundwork for future developments in the field of computing. The punched card technology used in Hollerith's machine also became the standard for data storage and processing for many years, and it was used in a wide variety of applications, from accounting to scientific research. In the early 1900s, a number of inventors and engineers began working on electronic computing devices. 
In 1937, American physicist John Atanasoff designed the first electronic computer, which used binary digits, bits, to represent data and could perform basic arithmetic operations, known as the atanasoff berry computer ABC. The ABC was the first computer to use electronic switches, vacuum tubes, instead of mechanical switches, which were used in earlier computers such as the Hollerith tabulating machine. Atanasoff's design used binary digits, bits, to represent data, which allowed for faster and more efficient calculations than previous machines. The ABC also used a system of capacitors to store data, which was a significant improvement over the punched card technology used in earlier machines. Although the ABC was never fully completed, it represented a major breakthrough in the development of electronic computers. Atanasoff's ideas and designs influenced many other inventors and engineers in the field of computing, including John Mockley and J. Presper Eckert. The 1940s were a crucial decade in the development of electronic computers. During this time, a number of important breakthroughs were made that paved the way for the development of modern computing technology. In 1941, Konrad Zuse, a German engineer, completed the Z3 computer, which was the first programmable computer to use electromechanical relays. The Z3 was used for scientific and engineering calculations and was an important precursor to the electronic computers that would follow. In 1943, a team of engineers and scientists at the University of Pennsylvania, led by John Mockley and J. Presper Eckert, completed the Electronic Numerical Integrator and Computer ENIAC, which was the first fully electronic computer. The ENIAC used vacuum tubes to perform calculations and was capable of performing complex calculations at unprecedented speeds. The development of the ENIAC marked a major turning point in the history of computing. Its use of electronic components paved the way for the development of smaller, faster, and more reliable computers. The ENIAC was used for a wide range of applications, including scientific research, military calculations, and weather forecasting. In 1945, John von Neumann, a mathematician and computer scientist, proposed a new architecture for electronic computers, known as the von Neumann architecture. This architecture used a stored program concept which allowed for the computer to be programmed using a set of instructions stored in its memory. The von Neumann architecture became the standard for electronic computers and is still used in modern computers today. In this period, late 1940s and early 1950s, a number of new computer architectures were developed that were more efficient and practical than ENIAC. One of the most influential was the Universal Automatic Computer UNIVAC which was the first commercial computer and was used for a variety of tasks, including predicting the outcome of the 1952 presidential election. The UNIVAC was a huge breakthrough in computing technology. It was the first computer to be designed for both scientific and business applications, and it was capable of performing a wide range of tasks, including data processing, scientific calculations, and simulations. It used vacuum tubes to perform calculations and had a magnetic tape storage system that allowed for the storage and retrieval of large amounts of data. It also had a printer that could produce output at a rate of 600 lines per minute, making it much faster than earlier computers. The Univac was a major commercial success, and it was widely used in government and industry for data processing and analysis. It was also used in scientific research and played a crucial role in the development of the hydrogen bomb. The success of the UNIVAC paved the way for the development of a new generation of electronic computers, including the IBM 700 series and the Digital Equipment Corporation's PDP-1. These machines were smaller, faster, and more reliable than earlier computers, and they paved the way for the development of the modern computing industry. Today, the UNIVAC is remembered as one of the most important milestones in the history of computing. Its development marked a turning point in the development of electronic computers and laid the foundation for the digital age. In the following decades, computers continued to become smaller, faster, and more powerful. In the 1960s, the first computer networks were developed, allowing multiple users to share data and resources and marking a major milestone in the development of computing technology. One of the earliest computer networks was the Advanced Research Projects Agency Network, ARPANET, which was developed by the U.S. Department of Defense's Advanced Research Projects Agency, ARPA, in 1969. 
the ARPANET was designed to allow researchers to share computing resources and exchange information over long distances, and it was one of the first networks to use packet switching technology. Packet switching technology allowed data to be broken up into small packets and sent over a network in a way that allowed each packet to take its own route to its destination. This was a major breakthrough in networking technology, as it made it possible to build large, distributed networks that could withstand failures and continue to function even if part of the network went down. Other early computer networks included the National Physical Laboratory Network NPL, in the UK, the Cyclades Network in France, and the Merit Network in the US. These networks were designed to allow scientists and researchers to share computing resources and collaborate on research projects. The development of computer networks in the 1960s paved the way for the development of the Internet, which was first developed in the 1970s. The Internet was designed to be a global network of interconnected computer networks, and it has since become one of the most important and influential technologies in the world. Today, the Internet is used by billions of people around the world for communication, commerce, entertainment, and more. In the 1980s, the development of graphical user interfaces GUIs, made computers more user-friendly and accessible to a wider audience. Prior to the development of GOAs, most computer systems used command line interfaces, which required users to type in text commands to perform tasks. This made computers difficult to use for many people who were not computer experts. The development of GUIs changed this by introducing a visual interface that allowed users to interact with a computer using icons, windows, and menus. The first widely used GUI was the Apple Macintosh's operating system, which was introduced in 1984. The Macintosh's GUI made it much easier for people to use computers, and it set the standard for GUI design for many years to come. Other computer manufacturers soon followed suit, and GUIs became a standard feature of most desktop and laptop computers. Microsoft's Windows operating system, which was introduced in 1985, was one of the most popular GUI-based operating systems, and it played a key role in making personal computers more accessible to a wider audience. The 1990s saw the rise of the Internet, which transformed the way people communicate and access information. The Internet was originally developed in the 1970s as a network for researchers to share information, but it was not until the 1990s that it became widely accessible to the general public. The development of the World Wide Web, a system of interlinked hypertext documents that can be accessed via the Internet, played a key role in making the Internet more accessible and user-friendly. The first web browser, called World Wide Web, was developed by British computer scientist Tim Berners-Lee in 1990. This browser allowed users to access and navigate the web using a graphical interface, making it much easier to use than earlier Internet protocols. The growth of the Internet continued throughout the 1990s, as more people gained access to the web and more websites were created. By the end of the decade, the Internet had become an essential tool for communication and commerce, and it had transformed the way people live and work. Today, the Internet remains a vital part of modern life, and it continues to evolve and shape the way people communicate and access information. Bill Gates and Steve Jobs are two of the most influential figures in the history of computer technology and both made significant contributions to the development of the modern computer. Bill Gates is best known for co-founding Microsoft Corporation in 1975, along with his childhood friend Paul Allen. Under Gates' leadership, Microsoft became one of the most successful and influential companies in the technology industry. Gates' early contributions to Microsoft included the development of the company's first product, the basic programming language, which was used to write software for the Altair 8800, one of the first personal computers. Gates recognized the potential of the personal computer industry early on, and he made a series of strategic moves that helped Microsoft to become one of the dominant players in the industry. One of Gates' most significant contributions to the development of the computer industry was the development of the first personal computer operating system, MS-DOS. MS-DOS became the dominant operating system for IBM-compatible personal computers, and it paved the way for the development of Windows, which became the most widely used operating system in the world. Gates' vision for Windows was to create an operating system that was user-friendly, reliable, and compatible with a wide range of hardware and software. Windows was a major breakthrough in computer design, and it helped to establish Microsoft as one of the most innovative and influential technology companies in the world. 
In addition to his contributions to the development of operating systems and software, Gates also played a key role in the development of other Microsoft products, such as Word and Excel, which became essential tools for businesses and individuals around the world. Gates was known for his focus on innovation and for his ability to anticipate and respond to changes in the technology industry. Gates stepped down as CEO of Microsoft in 2000, but he remained involved with the company as chairman and chief software architect. In recent years, Gates has focused his efforts on philanthropy, and he has become one of the world's most influential philanthropists, working to improve global health and reduce poverty through the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. His contributions to the development of computer technology helped to shape the modern digital landscape, and his philanthropic efforts continue to make a significant impact on the world. Steve Jobs, on the other hand, is best known for his role in co-founding Apple Computer, now known as Apple Incorporated, with Steve Wozniak in 1976. Jobs' contributions to the development of the company helped to shape the modern digital landscape and set the stage for the development of mobile computing and the Internet. One of Jobs' early contributions to the development of Apple was his design of the Apple-like computer, which he and Wozniak built in Jobs' family garage. The Apple I was one of the first personal computers to be sold to consumers, and it was a significant step forward in the development of the personal computer industry. In 1977, Apple released the Apple II, which became one of the most popular personal computers of the 1980s. The Apple II was known for its user-friendly design and for its ability to run a wide range of software applications. The success of the Apple II helped to establish Apple as a major player in the personal computer industry. In 1984, Apple released the Macintosh, which was the first commercially successful personal computer to feature a graphical user interface GUI. The Macintosh was a major breakthrough in computer design, and it paved the way for the development of other user-friendly interfaces, such as Microsoft's Windows operating system. The Macintosh was also notable for its innovative design, which featured a compact, all-in-one design that included a monitor, keyboard, and CPU in a single unit. In the years that followed, Jobs continued to play a key role in the development of Apple, and he was known for his focus on design and user experience. In 1997, he returned to Apple after a brief absence and helped to turn the company around, launching a series of successful products, including the iMac, the iPod, the iPhone, and the iPad. These products helped to cement Apple's position as one of the most innovative and influential technology companies in the world. Jobs passed away in 2011, but his legacy continues to be felt throughout the technology industry and beyond. His contributions to the development of computer technology helped to shape the modern digital landscape, and his focus on design and user experience continue to inspire designers and entrepreneurs around the world. Throughout the history of computers, we have seen an incredible evolution of technology that has fundamentally transformed the way we live, work, and communicate. From the abacus to the latest artificial intelligence technologies, computers have come a long way. As we look to the future, we can expect even more exciting developments in computing technology. From quantum computing to augmented reality and beyond, the possibilities are endless. With each new breakthrough, we are one step closer to a world that is more connected, more intelligent, and more capable than ever before. So, whether you're a tech enthusiast, a business owner, or just someone who enjoys staying up to date with the latest trends, the world of computers is always an exciting and dynamic place to be. Join us as we continue to explore the fascinating history and exciting future of this incredible technology. And, if you like the video, smash the subscribe button for more videos like this.